What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Hoops Respective. I'd like to give a special shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video today. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, all right? They use a 0 out of 10 score on each ticket to know if you're getting a good or a bad deal. Green means good, red means bad. All right, don't waste any more time today. Get your first tickets using my promo code Hoops Perspective to take $20 off your first purchase. That's promo code Hoops Perspective. Now let's get into the video. The projected lottery pick and current UNC freshman Nazir Little is an intriguing and extremely versatile prospect. After turning heads with his back-to-back -back MVP performances at the McDonald's and Jordan Brand games, it's clear that Nazir has all the tools to be a future NBA pro. UNC grabbed him a really special player who can make an impact on both ends of the floor, and in this breakdown we'll be taking an in-depth look at Nazir's game. Nazir has loads of potential as an attacker in transition and in the half-court set. Standing at 6'6", 220 pounds, Nazir is extremely difficult to stop when he's coming at you with the full head of steam. He's a great athlete that can change gears really well in the open court, and his exceptional leaping ability allows him to finish well above the rim. His handle has improved significantly over the course of his high school career. He's displayed nice crossovers when he's getting by a defender, but for the most part, Nazir uses his brute strength and first step to get in lane. He's a consistent finisher at the rim that's capable of using his left or right hand. I was really impressed with Nazir's floater game. He's proven he's not just another athletic wing that tries to dunk on every possession. He has a very nice soft touch around the rim. Nazir's shooting is probably the biggest area of his game that could really take him to the next level once he becomes consistent. His form, release, and elevation on his shots looks fine, and you can really see he could be a capable shooter off the dribble and in catch and shoot situations. He's shown he can use ball screens to get his shot off, he can stop on a dime and pull up and transition right now with Nazir's size, length, and athleticism. He could become a serious offensive weapon once a jump shot becomes more liable. A part of Nazir's game that goes underlooked in my opinion is his playmaking. He's a smart basketball player that knows how to make the right basketball play most of the time. For an athletic wing, his court vision and passing is pretty solid. His bread and butter isn't creating for others, but to his credit, he's very unselfish and is a pretty talented passer. Nazir's length and athleticism makes him an elite defensive talent. He has the foot speed and lateral quickness to guard smaller players and the timing and explosiveness to be a solid shot blocker. Nazir's motor on the defensive end will help UNC tremendously this upcoming season while also improving his own draft stock. While the potential is there, Nazir needs to improve his shooting from 15 feet and beyond. His shot selection isn't the issue, he doesn't attempt too many jumpers per game, but it just boils down to Nazir not being consistent yet. He was about a 30% three-point shooter his senior year, obviously he can improve on that, and his mid-range game is still developing. Nazir's current strengths and natural physical tools will probably make him a pro, but adding a jump shot to his arsenal significantly increases his ceiling as a player. Nazir's decision making and overall feel for the game when trying to create off the dribble will need some work as well. He has a tendency of forcing the issue when driving. His handle is passable but not very tight yet he can lose the ball when being pressured by the defense and sometimes Nazir can just be flat out careless with the ball. This is a normal thing for young players so over time this area of his game will improve as he matures. Well, here's my verdict. If Nazir produces on offense and on the defensive end at a consistent rate this year at UNC, then I'd be surprised if he wasn't a top 10 pick in the 2019 draft. He already fits the description of an ideal NBA prospect, great size, length, athleticism, and tangibles, and his skill set on the offensive end is constantly improving every year. What scouts will most likely be paying attention to is his consistency on the perimeter and his ability to create off the dribble. If these two current weaknesses become strengths, then Nazir will be scary good in the future. 